Today's lesson is called creating and solving quadratics in one variable. We have two examples that we'll do together. Example one says, a garden measuring 12 meters by 16 meters is to have a pedestrian pathway that is W meters wide installed all the way around it, increasing the total area to 285 square meters. What is the width W of the pathway? So we're now to the point where we're going to start solving word problems that involve quadratics, and we may be asked to set up the quadratic ourselves. So that's what we're going to be practicing over these next two days with the lesson creating and solving quadratics in one variable. I would suggest that when we have a problem that describes certain type of picture, that you actually draw that picture. So I'm going to draw my original rectangular shape. And we know that that's supposed to be it's a garden. It's supposed to be 12 meters by 16 meters. So this is 12, and then this is 16. Now, they want to put a pathway around that. So I'm going to draw a pathway. So in other words, it looks like a sidewalk around that garden. And that sidewalk has a width of W. So from this to this blue is a width of W. It's W from here to here, W from here to here, and again, W from here to here. So it's the same distance all the way around. It also says that we know the area is 285, so we'll be able to use that later when solving the actual quadratic. So now we always need a let statement because I do not see any variables that were given besides the W, but we do need to write a way that we can express the new length and the new width. So I would suggest writing that as a let statement. It will help you later when you set up your equation. My original length was 16 meters, but now I also have the length of the new green rectangle, the one I drew around the outside, which remember, if I kind of bring this up, this is 16, this is W, and this is W. So actually, the new length is going to be two W's plus 16. So we'll let that equal the new length. Then if I do the same thing with the width, if I kind of bring this over, this is worth 12, and again, this is W and this is W. So that means that 2W plus 12 is my new width. So I believe that would be difficult to figure out unless you kind of draw the picture out. So that is always 100% gonna be my first hint to you and tip to you, draw the picture of the situation. So now we know it's a rectangle. So the formula for the area of a rectangle is A equals length times width. And now we can plug in the information that we have. We know that the area is 285 square meters. We know the length is 2w plus 16. And the width is 2w plus 12. Now I have to simplify this as much as possible and then go ahead and follow my steps for solving a quadratic. The first thing we need to do is multiply that 2w plus 16 times 2w plus 12. You have two choices. You could go to the side and draw your boxes and multiply using your area method, or you can use distributive. We're going to use distributive. So 285 equals, remember we're gonna do 2w times 2w, which would be 4w squared, 2w times 12, which would be 24w. Then we do 16w, sorry, 16 times 2w, which would be 32w, and 16 times 12, which would be 192. So now when we combine these middle like terms, we end up with 285 equals 4w squared plus 56w plus 192. So now that we've multiplied and simplified, we're to the point where we need to set our quadratic equal to zero. So we're going to need to move the 285 by subtracting it from both sides. So I get zero equals four W squared plus 56 W minus 93. 
Now, whatever method you decide to use for this part of the factoring is up to you. You can either guess and check your way through, or you can use splitting the linear term, which is where we multiply A and C, and then find the factor pair that adds up to 56, make the trinomial into four terms, group the first two and the last two, factor out the GCF, and get our factors from there. I'm not going to go over either of those processes in this video. If you need to go back and revisit that, then you need to go back and watch previous video lessons on factoring trinomials on those two methods. We will quickly kind of go through this factoring here. It ends up being 0 equals 2w minus 3 and 2w plus 31. Now that we've factored, we're going to take each factor pair and set it equal to 0 using our t time. So 2w minus 3 equals 0 and 2w plus 31 equals 0. We would add 3 to both sides. So we get 2w equals 3. Then to get w alone, we have to divide it by 2. So we get w is 1.5. Then over here, we are going to subtract 31 to get 2w equals negative 31. Divide by 2 to get w alone, and we get w equals negative 15.5. Now, this is a question about length and width and area, so having a negative answer does not make sense in context of this problem. So we will cross this out and write reject next to it. Now, whenever you're done with all this work, you need to go back and look at the word problem. Make sure you're answering the question. It says the garden measuring 12 by 16 meters has a pathway W meters that's installed around it, which makes the area 285. What is the width W of the pathway? Well, we already found W. W was 1.5. So that's our final answer. W is equal to 1.5 meters. Now let's go on to example two. We have a picture that has a height that is four-thirds its width. It is to be enlarged so that the ratio of the height to the width remains the same, but the area is 192 square inches. What are the dimensions of the enlargement? So again, my first tip to you would be to draw a picture. So a picture has a height that's four-thirds its width. So we're going to draw the picture. They didn't tell us what the width was as far as a variable, so we'll do a let statement for ourselves. We'll say let w equal the width. And then it says its height is 4 thirds the width. So 4 thirds w is equal to the height. So when we draw this and we label the parts, this is w, this is 4 thirds w. Now it says it's going to be enlarged. So I want you to envision that you've enlarged this, kind of put a picture around a picture, and now we're saying, okay, this whole thing is now going to be a new picture after it's enlarged, all the pink. But it says it still has the same ratio. So it, will, it is also enlarged so that the ratio of the height to the width remains the same, okay? But our new area of this whole thing is 192 square inches. So we're looking at a rectangular shape again. So we have A equals length times width, area is length times width. Our area is 192. Our length, which would be kind of the same thing as our width because we're using width twice here, is going to be 4 thirds. We'll have that be our height, W. And then our other dimension is the width, which is W. So I get 192 equals 4 thirds. W times W would be W squared. So we need to get that W squared alone by getting rid of the 4 thirds. To get rid of a fraction, you want to multiply by the reciprocal. So that would be 3 fourths here and 3 fourths here. So that would cancel out, and you would get W squared equals, if I do 3 fourths of 192, I get 144. So now that's W squared. I don't want W squared. I want just W. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. I get w equals technically positive and negative 12. Okay, but we are going to reject negative 12 because of the situation. 
So RW is equal to positive 12. And our units were inches. And now, of course, it said, be careful, we got to go back and read the question, what are the dimensions? So that means it wants both length and width when it asks for the dimensions. So the width is 12 inches. To get the length, we have to do 4 thirds of 12. So 4 thirds times 12, 3 goes into 12 4 times, that's 16. So our 4 thirds W, which was our height, is 16 inches. And so these are the dimensions. That concludes your lesson on creating and solving quadratics in one variable, day one.